Roland Hill, he didn't just invent the penny post, he invented the postcode. It was the 1850s, London was getting very busy, growing very fast. Lots of streets all over different parts of the city that had the same names. So Roland Hill decided that they were going to put codes at the end of people's addresses to split the addresses up. He drew a circle from here, which was back then the headquarters of the General Post Office, a circle of radius 12 miles and split it into eight points of the compass to give the eight postcodes, plus another two in the middle, WC and EC. 150 years later, the postcode system covers the whole country now. There's 124 postcode areas. So thanks, Roland, you give me the idea for a book. Went all around the country collecting loads of trivia, at least one fact from every postcode area, all 124 of them. But this is Londonist, so let's do some of the London ones. First one's EC. This is the Old Bailey. It used to be Newgate Prison, and Newgate Prison is where the toothbrush was invented. 1770s, a guy called William Addis was doing time here. And back in those days, if you wanted to brush your teeth, everyone got a rag and either some soot or some salt, and they used to rub it on their teeth. He thought there has to be a better way, and he was inspired by the sight of a broom. And he got one of the guards to get an animal bone that he got left over from his dinner, and some bristles. Drilled some holes in the bone, put the bristles in, invented the toothbrush. When he got out, it made him a fortune, and the firm that he founded went on to be wisdom toothbrushes. Maybe your toothbrush is a wisdom toothbrush even today. London SW, South West, Buckingham Palace, where the Queen lives. Also where Charles and Di came back to in 1981 when they got married. And they used a ferret that day. There was a TV cable gap that uh, some cables needed to go through at the palace back there. They could not work out a way of getting the cables through this narrow little gap. So they used a ferret. They put a harness on him, put a piece of bacon at one end, put the ferret at the other, he scuttled through, pulling the harness, which had a very strong piece of wire on that they could then attach the cables through and pull him through. Thanks to the ferret, we could all see Charles and Di do their famous kiss. SE, London South East. Waterloo Station, 1965, Churchill's funeral. Churchill had said towards the end of his life that if de Gaulle outlived him and therefore was at his funeral, the train that was going to take Churchill's body out of London up to Oxfordshire where he was going to be buried had to leave from Waterloo Station. It would be much more convenient to go from Paddington, but Churchill said it had to be Waterloo just so that de Gaulle could be annoyed by Waterloo Station. NW1, Camden High Street, 1934. Leslie Horbelisha was the transport minister back then, and back then they had 7,000 road deaths a year because people were getting used to their cars they didn't know how to drive. It's about a third of that now. One of the things they did to make it safer was to put in some pedestrian crossings. The first one was opened here, Camden High Street. As Leslie Horbelisha turned up to open it, a sports car roared up here, nearly killed him. It was only by standing stock still, as he put it, that he managed not to get killed. Then they realised that all they'd done was put down some white lines on the road with a C standing for crossing so the car hadn't seen him. So they added some metal studs on the road, they added some poles with the orange lights at top, the famous Belisha beacon. 